and well. This video took a little longer since I'm a lazy piece of shit. Um, yeah, fast, rapid review of recommended webtoons and Chinese manhua. Oh, no, what the? Just man manhua specifically. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the pronunciation. Okay, here I go. Rebirth of the Urban Immortal Cultivator. If I'm gonna describe this, it would be as the, the name it implies, Rebirth. Basic, uh, our protagonist is already OP, but he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to square one as a human since I have stuff to do. The superb captain in the city. Um, main guy works for special forces and there is a ranking system and it's actually you know the spoilers but yeah he's op metropolitan cities yin yang miracle doctor um, we have a uh, shota main character here stuck in an island strongest abandoned son not much of a cultivation, but more like superb captain of the sea, you know, um, special forces guy. Ghostly doctor, um, female protagonist, OP cultivation, real quick. You know, but of course she's female, so you have to expect some hot dudes. In. My wife is a demon queen. Uh, Good enough, it's like 159 chapters translated right now. Um, protagonist from modern world gets summoned or isekai. Marshall P. A cultivation manhua. Um, there's a formula here that's like our protagonist gets whoops, gets his ass whooped. Purple. Lost his cultivation, or he was born weak, and then by some instances, he got power. Like, oh, what's that? A meter hits him in the face. It's not, it's actually a soul of some, um, I don't know, mortal cultivator dude that's now teaching him, or something, or have, has given him a crazy boost. Okay, next one. Apotheosis is pretty good. It has 490 plus chapters. But there's still a formula here in setting for a story. And it's a cultivation manhua. So that's about it. I'm not gonna describe anything more. There's cultivation and stuff in. Oh, yeah, he's a siscon. There we go. <laughs> next one Versatile Mage. I believe this is a manhua also a Korean um, Chinese cultivation in a way I guess I could classify it as cultivation because he levels up his powers but at the same time I think it's not really cultivation it's more like solo leveling base where he levels up but instead of leveling, he levels his abilities like, oh, level 4, level 7 or something, you know. It's a good read. Okay, next one. Battle Through the Heavens is one of the man who was actually enjoyed fully. Or it's one of the first I've actually started with. It has cultivation, of course. It's... It has good pacing, I'll be honest. Because it's not fast to the point where we're getting to crazy levels of power. We're like in the middle. Um, at, at first, I thought it was gonna be like a, one of those cultivation type. You know, where the main character just cultivates crazy and now he's the most powerful dude in, in every, every scenario. Nope. This one is pretty tame because he's getting his ass booked by stronger people. Makes perfect sense for me. Because, come on, he's a kid. And what, he's gonna whoop a, a thousand year old immortal cultivator's ass because he's the protagonist, the hill. 
really recommend it though. Next one would be Iron Ladies. I mean, it's I I'm, I don't know what the it's called. No, it's not cultivation. It's like it's like inspired by Warhammer 40k. Yeah, because they're like different races, dr dragon race, god race, and stuff like that. But based on Chinese mythology. And Iron Ladies, there's like each fleet, all of them are women. Our protagonist gets becomes the commander of one of the fleets, like a thousand ladies or something, can't remember, a thousand or ten thousand, and he gets stronger and stronger per story arc. Overall, good enough. <laughs> Recommend it, sure, if you want to use your time. Next one will be Holy Ancestor. Holy Ancestor. I read through all of. Oh, I don't know. I don't like the main character. It's like the man who portrays him as a smart jackass, you know, cocky attitude, and then in the next scenario, he's a dumbass with a cocky attitude, like the the freak. I did not enjoy reading this, but I'm still gonna recommend it since it's part of the Manhua Web 2 team. Next one, it's gonna be a little bit juicy. Metropolitan System. Cultivation in a sense of a roulette system. Like he, he gets a random power up ability every time he does the roulette thing. Oh no, slot machine. And then spin the spin spin the wheel. Sp spin the wheel. The wheel. The wheel. I'm screwing up my pronunciation. But hey, I recommend it if you like. I mean at first it was consistent with like its theme, it's trying to be serious. But at the same time it has its formula of of manhood. Chinese man you know, Chinese man where he, he becomes a hero, he gets a backing from a rich dude, he gets some women, and stuff like that. But in the end, it became a little bit comedic. And it, and I like the comedic part. Because it just fits so well. I don't know why. Maybe he got bored of the other, you know, cultivation stuff. Next one would be Hero, I quit a long time ago. A must read if you like. A strong protagonist. I don't know if I would go in spoiler territory, but oh wait, no, no. First chapter, I believe, was already revealed. Because there's this hero, Zero. He's he's basically equivalent to Blast, you know, the, in One Punch Man, number one S class. Except nobody knows who he is under the robe and. Because his face can't be seen, he's just known as a really super OP hero that killed gods and stuff. And I believe the first chapter is him selling all his OP weapons, but nobody knows it's him because he doesn't have the robe and everything. It's like, it's like not having the costume and saying, I'm that guy. That's the plot of it. He's gonna defeat some demons and stuff, gods, clans. Because you know they think they're OP, but it just slaps them in the face and they're dead. Good read, yeah. I recommend that one. Next one, the beginning after the end. It only has 50 chapters, I believe. So okay, protagonist was a king. He dies. He gets re reincarnated to a kid, and that's all I'm gonna say because. The pacing is good, it's not rush, it's not throwing us into the war zone or into the hey I'm a kid but I'm reincarnated so I'm the most powerful dude on this planet. Nope. We get to see his steps to get him gaining some power. You know. It's pretty cool. Oh right, next one. Oh I think we're going to webtoon territory. Hmm? Possibly. Tomb Raider King. 
It's like Lara Croft, except there's God. Oh no, it is like Lara Croft. Except there's ar ar <laughs> artifacts that gives power and stuff. He dies. He reincarn. Wait. He he dies, but he goes back to the past. I mean. He dies, he wakes up back in the past, there we go. And he knows where to go, what's gonna happen next, and he whoops ass, that's it. Most of this stuff will be whooping ass, really. You know, mo most of the protagonists here. 